Last year at annual conference, we began the journey toward racial justice. And it's work that we know that will last uh, for a long time. But I promised at that time to name a diversity and inclusion officer. And so it's with great pleasure that I introduce Dr. Ron Henderson, who does not really need an introduction, who will be the director of racial diversity, equity, and inclusion for the North Texas Annual Conference. And so Ron, I'm glad you're gonna be working with us uh, in a number of ways. And of course, I think we need to tell everybody you'll still be serving on the appointed cabinet. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve the conference this way. I feel uh, a great deal of energy, excitement, and creativity. Uh, in working with the team that's been exploring the journey toward racial equality uh, and to work with our conference, work with the extended and appointed cabinet uh, to make our conference, uh, the bureaucracy, and our churches reflect more the kingdom of God. And that's, that is going to be a challenging work at times in some places, and we know that. But one of the things that's, that I've become very excited about is the number of people who are really wanting to engage in this work and know how important it is. Tell us why you think it's important. Well, I think it's important because people who have been marginalized, people who have had limitations in life, intentionally or unintentionally, uh, needs to be corrected. And I think the church needs to take the lead uh, in making certain that our conference is diverse with a variety of people uh, not only serving uh, on committees, but serving in leadership, serving in our churches, having uh, access to good salaries. I, I think it's important that we uh, take the initiative in, in exercising and justice and fairness to everybody, particularly those who've been limited in the past. Uh, and it's important that we're intentional in making certain that people are really included that they're more than window dressing, but that we have equipped, equipped them, empowered them, blessed them uh, to be a part of the group in terms of decision-making, policy, et cetera. And you know, you and I have talked about inclusion this way, and it's like, it's not just having a seat at the table, but having a voice at the table mm -hmm. and empowering that. Yes, uh, uh, I'm reminded I was a part of an organization once, and people told me, that you're a part of this organization. It wasn't a United Methodist organization. Right. And I remember I was a part of the organization, but I was never asked to do anything. I never participated in any planning, any program. And so I was a part of it, but I wasn't really included. And so for me, inclusion means that you participate in visioning, you participate in uh, policy making, uh, you participate in the direction of the whole. So uh, inclusion is very important. Yeah, I, I like the way in which we've begun to talk about that, mm -hmm. you know, about having a voice and having a role yes. to play and that yes. kind of thing, rather mm -hmm. than just, okay, this is just, you know, sure that we've got X number of people on any committee. It's more important than that. Yes, and it's important, uh, particularly for you, to hear the various voices and to say to people that their voice is important and that I need to hear your voice and that your voice is important to me. Yeah. You know, the other thing we've wrestled with as a cabinet as we talk about this is there's a great deal of institutional history, mm -hmm. and some of it is somewhat accurate and some of it's not. Mm -hmm. And so one of the good things that's happened with you on the cabinet is that we, we get the story mm -hmm. uh, uh, about the history rather than the, uh, the oral history that sort of changes perhaps at times, and we think that's going to be an important piece for our work together. Mm -hmm. Well, you know... Um, uh, I, I do bring an understanding of our, our institutional knowledge, do bring an understanding of the continuity of, of our history. And the continuity is important because understanding a history and not understanding the continuity doesn't make it authentic. And so when we talk about our institutional memory, we want to make certain that we're authentic in what we're talking about. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, one of the things that I think we sometimes forget uh, the cabinet does not, uh, and others do not, but that racial inclusion is, has gotten larger and larger in the North Texas Conference. And by that, I mean, when we talk about racial justice inclusion, it's not only African Americans and Hispanics, but think of the number of Koreans who are present yes. in, in, uh, in the area. Think of the number of people who are here now from India. In fact, we have a, we have a pastor from India that's appointed to one of our churches. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, any number of other Asian or Pacific Islanders, uh, Filipinos, for instance, in our conference. So 
the diversity in North Texas is, is pretty large. Uh, the, the diversity at our conference has grown tremendously over the last eight years. And the amazing thing about this position and your putting this position together and naming a director is also a way of saying to the conference is that even though we made great progress, I'm not satisfied. We have a long ways to go. And so even that is to be celebrated, that we're not content with where we are and know that there's so much more we can do for, for diversity and inclusion. We have to be reminded that there are no quick fixes in this. Yes. There's only a journey that we continue on for a period of time. And so you and I are going to get to walk along this together. Intentional journey. Intentional. Yeah, and it is intentional. Yes. And so that it's not just reactive when something yes. happens. Mm -hmm. That's an important piece mm -hmm. to remember. Yes. So I think, uh, I think that uh, I'm glad you're going to be doing this. And uh, Well, I'm excited to be doing it and feel the energy and the creativity and ready to get going. I'm sure you'll have enough to do. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad. So Dr. Henderson is going to be reporting to me. Uh, so uh, one of my direct reports. And so I want you to know that uh, he, he'll be sitting in on all extended and appointed cabinet meetings, as I said earlier. And of course, his voice is not only important to, to the cabinet, but to the work of the whole church. And so I'm grateful that uh, Dr. Henderson's agreed to do this work. And I, want, I look forward to seeing you at annual conference, and you'll hear more about our journey toward racial justice then. So Dr. Henderson, good to be with you this afternoon. Great to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.